Hi guys, this is Stephanie and welcome to my channel. I'm sure you guys have been watching Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. So in the spirit of Olympics, I thought in today's episode, I'm going to introduce you guys a couple of Olympic words in Chinese. And therefore, it could better help you describe this great event. Now in Chinese, we actually translate the word Olympic by its pronunciation. So in Chinese, it's Olympique. Now, Olympic Games, we call it as Olympique Yundong Hui. Wow, wow, wow. I know what you're thinking. This is too long, too difficult. We'll make it very easy for you because we actually shortened the words, okay? So we only call it as Ao Yun Hui. Ao Yun Hui. Pretty simple, right? Because Yundong Hui means the sports game. So we just shortened it. Now, Winter Olympics, we call it as Dong. Ao Hui, Dong Ao Hui, Dong Ao Hui. Now, 2022, we call it as 2022, Beijing 2022, Dong Ao Hui. We say the opening ceremony as 开幕式, 开幕式, and then the opposite word is 闭幕式, 闭幕式. So, 开 means to open and 闭 means to close. Now, of course, we have a lot of athletes and they are 运动员, 运动员. So, it's similar like in English. If you are referring to female or male athletes, you just put 男 and 女 in front of it. So, 男运动员, 女运动员. The most exciting part about Olympics is to get the medal. And the medal, we call it as 奖牌, 奖牌. Another interesting Chinese word, which often accompany the number of the medals, is a measure word. We call it as mei. So instead of saying 18 medals in Chinese, we have to use a measure word. It's like 18 measure word medals. And that word is mei. For the three ranks, we have 金牌, 银牌, 铜牌. 队, which means team. For example, 中国队, 中国队. And Team USA would be 美国队, etc, etc. You just put the country's name at the front and then put 队 at the end. That's how you describe it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.